Next up, chat, we have got a 1100 SR Diva. I also want to point out, chat, they've placed and they've only won a single game. Uh, for reference, you can see they haven't finished their support games and they've already won two. Yeah. Uh, struggling a little. Hello, Flats. I don't remember the first time I started watching the Bronze Coast, but I figured I maybe would get one in. I feel like I did what I could to help my team, but we just ended up losing, sadly. Maybe I'm wrong and you can prove it, but maybe you reversing and picking what I did wrong is what I need to hear. <laughs> I can promise you, if you've lost four out of five games playing D.Va in a thousand SR, I can just about promise you it's on you. My uh, skin check. Uh, hey, tier. It's not bad. I actually chat. Am I am I having um What's that theorem, like when you think you remember something and everyone remembers it a certain way? The Mandela effect, yeah. Am I having the Mandela effect chat or is it like you couldn't get this skin for a while? Like you had to do like something special or like attend some event and then they just said it and gave it like uh, put it in the shop and then everyone could buy it. It was for Heroes of the Storm. Oh, it was Heroes for the Storm. Okay. All right, let's see what you got. Immediately. Immediately, what are you fucking? You're gonna hit a Genji with micro missiles? You didn't even move your mouse, dude. You didn't even you didn't even try to aim at him. You just saw him. Also, I'm confused on what this angle is. You have hello? What? Yo, listen. There are fewer times in history you get more time to eat a sleep dart than that, and you didn't hit right click. So reaction time is. Uh, Quite possibly grandma levers. Levels, we're not sure yet. Did we go for that soldier? You just saw them get anti? No? Okay, just I guess they're run fed, so that's fine. You're, okay, I had to say your your sensitivity is very low for a tank player. Typically tank player sensitivities are much, much, much higher. Uh, because you're typically spinning and chasing people. Hello? Wait, you told me you're not sure if you're doing it you think you're doing everything you can? You're doing like nothing. Your sniper diva. You're backing away from targets and shooting at them. Hello? You're playing diva. Stand in their face. You also just missed every single micro missile. You know they explode, right? Like shoot at the fucking ground in front of them. The tracking is impeccable. <clears throat> so you genuinely can't figure out what you're doing wrong. Um, let me tell you what you're doing wrong. Uh, you're not doing anything. So you have this poor defenseless Ana who uses her nade and is full HP, but like doesn't have sleep, doesn't have nade. You're standing point blank range and you just go with the 450 HP. Nope, too scary. I'm running away now. Goodbye. Step through the Rhine. Step through the Rhine. Step through the. Rhine. Thank you. Oh my God. All systems checked out. That is genuinely impressive that you didn't get a kill with bomb and bronze. It's like a dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna just just watch it again. Are you serious, dude? You have you got the mechanical skill of like a like a like a grape. So not only do you not know how to play the character because you're not playing up in their face, you're not actually trying to get kills. You're playing Sniper Diva, you waste your bomb, and you've also got the mechanical skill of a fruit. How do you how do you not know what's going wrong? Are you looking at stats and seeing that you have gold of limbs or or even like a, a damage medal on tank? It's like First off, you can fly. Like, I, I understand not always being able to get out of shatter. Like, I get it. But you have only used your flight like two or three times. 
D.Va's whole thing is about mobility. What makes D.Va so good is the ability to fly and the ability to, to have defense matrix. You're playing, I'm not joking, you're playing shieldless Rhyme. You fly for two inches to just get there slightly faster. Thank you, that was your first time you've actually taken high ground and then immediately fell back down. I don't even know why you, well, dude, you fly for two inches. Dude, like, it's like a small speed boost. Like, you know, Sigma, I think a Sigma suck, you go slightly faster while you're sucking, right? Like, well, actually, no, I don't think that's true, actually. I think that was just an experimental patch, but, like, dude, like, please tell me you get booped off. Please tell me you get booped off. Please. Oh, my God. I, I'm not going to lie. I was really hoping on your downfall. Yeah, true. Good news. Ryan will have charge cancel soon. Then you can play Ryan and actually play the up close character. What is this? Like, you, it takes you like four seconds to decide. Like, mm, maybe I should fly away. Fly two feet. Just back to Sniper Diva. Here we go. Like, look where your team is. Your Tracer, who's a flanker, is in their tanks. Your Brig is frontlining. Your Hog is in there. Where are you? You're in fucking Narnia, dude. Dude, yo, dude, while you're up at the fucking concession stand, can you bring me back some popcorn and like, and like a Gatorade, maybe? You're still running away. You're backing away. You're so lucky you didn't get bombed because I think you were going to fly up to try to bomb there and you ran and you literally didn't have it yet. So you flew into the wall. Here it comes. He's going to bomb point. Here we go. Ready? Oh, didn't actually use it. I'm surprised. I'm not mad. I'm literally just disappointed. I'm actually even more disappointed. How? Oh, they got whole hogged into it. Okay, actually, you know what? That's fair. That's actually fair. You can't even be mad at that. I also hate that it shows that you're on fire because you got those two kills. You literally did not do anything for those two kills. You just, you bombed a terrible shitty bomb and your hog whole hogged them into it. That is your teammate picking up the slack. That is not you. And I hate it that it probably gave you feedback that showed, hey, I'm on fire. I must be doing a lot because bull fucking shit. Where are you going? So here's one of the things I think is almost hilarious about like the whole, you know, uh, high ground thing is high level players and pro players have told low rank players for years, take high ground. They don't understand why they take high ground. So I went up on D.Va, looked around, went, well, guess nobody's here. Went back to low ground. It's like, if you're going to be trying to be smart and learn to take high grounds, you don't leave when their team is dumb enough to not be there. Like, that's not how that works. Oh, you're, you're Ryan just sending. You can help him? Okay. Got, a D, got the DM on him. Nice. So you're getting kind of low. Um, this is actually one of those... The objective is now active. I was going to say, this is actually one of those times that you might want to be like Snape or D.Va, because standing in the front line when you're 1 HP, just in front of their tanks with no shield, is kind of a bad idea. But you know what? I, I guess you figured that out on your own. Okay. This is the great thing about Bronze, is you can get D.Mech as Baby D.Va, and then everybody forgets to exist. Um, how long have you been playing this game? You don't know where the stairs are? Also, remember what I talked about? Actually, no, this will probably be a different video. So I talked about uh, with the Ana, like how to fight Moira's and how most bronze players don't know, or most low rank players don't understand how to fight Moira and they're scared of the suck suck. This is a great example of being scared of the suck suck. You're 600 HP diva and you're afraid of a fucking Moira. Like that's just, that's embarrassing. She literally doesn't have fade. She actually, she has a discord orb on her and no fade and you're playing sniper diva. This is, dude. Your, your Tracer is playing more aggressive. Please! Stop running! 
Dude, you're playing tank. You, dude, if you want to play in the back, play support. Don't play tank. He, he, you're, these are the tanks that give tanks bad names. You're playing like a... You're playing like a beach. I'm ready to initiate self-destruct sequence. I, I'm, 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 oh man, no way this gets kills. All systems checked out. You know what? That is the first thing that I'm actually gonna say to you. It looked kind of stupid because it was, it was early, but I liked the aggressiveness. Uh, unfortunately though, uh, D.Va bombing, in, bombing into their spawn uh, typically is not a very good way to win the game. It's just to get a play of the game. And then your ass f***ing fed. So, um, I'm confused on the whole sentiment that you don't understand what more you could do. Um, because, well, I have a good one for you. Uh, maybe not diva bomb into their spawn. And if you are going to diva bomb into their spawn, here's here's the catch. If you diva bomb into their spawn, let me show you. Okay, ready? If you diva bomb into their spawn, like so, when you eject, get the f*** out literally the second the thing objects walk that way and leave let's see what you do you start walking back you stop you get back in mech and then you walk into them hmm. i just want you to know wholeheartedly the reason you lose this round is entirely your fault because they only use two ults to take this point from you when it's bronze, they should have used all five because everyone likes to hit Q. You single-handedly lost this point for your team. Congrats. You. Listen, you're 150 HP. You have two options. You int in and kill the Hanzo and trade, or you run. You choose neither. You choose to stand there and look at him and be a cosmetic diva. Don't play diva, dude. Play, play Hog, play Zarya, play Sigma, play Arissa. You don't know how to play diva. You, you want to learn how to play D.Va, watch Emong. There's a reason why me and Emong do well as a tank duo is because we're both stupid f***ing aggressive. Yeah, we feed sometimes, but that's just sometimes part of the job. And sometimes you end up feeding a little harder in some games than than others. And some games you look like an absolute psychopath and look like you're the best player on the planet. Realistically, it's give and take. But what you're doing is useless. Like, you're not even playing the game. I actually don't even understand how this is fun for you. Could have maybe eaten that, but it's fine. I'll give you, let you off the hook for that. Okay, so what are you gonna do about that? Are you gonna are you gonna no shot? What did you do? I just watch. Thank you. Even the tire is judging the var. <laughs> It kind of is actually. Thank you. I, I lost the brain cells. I am mad. I hate this. I just want to point out. Did you see that? Defense Matrix just finished. It's fully being charged. You have the entire Defense Matrix. You have Transcendence. You could literally hold W past the shield and try to kill him. Instead, you have not only left the, the safety of the corner, you've walked out into the middle of the fucking point, stood there, staring at the high noon, even with the reaction time of a literal snail. You still have time to put this defense matrix up. Like, like the option of running away is gone. You've stood here for too long. You could have flown away. You could have sat in the corner. You could have you could have went for the kill. There was like ten other options. Like you have every option on the planet. By the way, you're like you have you have endless options, and you have chosen to instead stick. Now, by the way, I just want to point out: even if like you hadn't heard the high noon, you don't see the giant glowing man. Uh, you don't you don't hear the the noises. You, 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 you don't have eyeballs. The, the shield is covering it. The shield has now moved away. So you can, like, literally, like, the whole, like, like, fucking Moses 
parted the sea to let you see where this guy is, and your full defense matrix is still up, and you've chosen to stand there and just eat it. You are f***ing dog shit, and I, and I wholeheartedly mean that, like, like genuinely not even trying to play the game. Like, and, 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 and like, some people are dog shit because they don't understand how, like, positioning, they're scared, their mechanical skill isn't good. You've got the whole trifecta. Like, you've got scared, doesn't know how to play the game, picks characters that don't really, like, picks a character just because, like, it looks like it's cool, doesn't know how to play it, mechanics suck, uh, ult usage sucks, cooldown usage sucks, uh, uh, resource management's terrible. Uh, dude, it's like the, it's like the whole, it's like the, the, the Pokemon badges of terrible. I am mad at you. I'm sorry. I, 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 by the way, I, I want to say again, the only reason you lost that last point is because you were in this game. I just want to say that. If it was any other player, I think you win that. Your team wins. I don't even know why you're trying to shoot this fair. You don't have you have the mechanical skill of a, a, an orange Gatorade cap. Like what, do you, what like what are you going to do? Oh, go can run away, of course. The Lucio literally jumped in, in front of you and you still can't shoot him. He this Lucio literally made himself your new target. Like he's he literally just comes down from like like an actual angel comes down from the fucking sky and says, "Hey, let me help you out here. I'll help you get. I'll help you get some damage in because you can't fucking shoot." And you're like, "You know what, dude? I ain't interested. You can go leave. I'm gonna shoot at this Hanzo who's gonna pop storm arrow and fucking melt me." Dude, I don't even know why you play in mech. You might actually be better at baby diva. Except you, except you actually play more aggressive on baby, on baby diva. You actually walk in and try to kill things. On on mech diva, you run away. It makes no sense. At least you didn't get hit by the last arrow and get to mech. Honestly, that's the biggest W we've seen so far because you should have gotten to mech. Yeah, hello, you're gonna go help your sigma? Like fly in, boost in, use your defense matrix? I don't know, do some damage. Trying to kill them. You're shooting your. That's your turret! That's just. That is your turret, you stupid fuck! Dude, I'm, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. Dude, that wasn't like for one second. That was like a solid three seconds. Dude, I, we're gonna we're gonna start the fucking timer. Ready? 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 Here, you start shooting your own turret. Dude, how long does it take you to realize? I, I refuse to believe you're 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 not you're not trolling. I refuse to believe it. Like this isn't real. This is a, uh, I'm in I'm in my. Dude, their fair had to literally walk into you to to, to get that kill. Two hundred. Honestly, their Ryan deserves the same treatment. You know, honestly, yo, hey, you should find this guy, and you guys should duo. You guys should just be the gatekeepers of 500 SR. What is that melody? No shot, you're gonna walk in on Baby Diva. You don't walk in on Mech Diva, and you're gonna go for the, the slam kill. Immediately runs away. It doesn't even fly away, though. I think that's honestly the more concerning part. Okay, so you start to walk away, but instead of flying away because you realize, oh shit, we're in trouble, you walk. I, I it, it, it's like it's like you've even managed to fuck up the one thing you're good at, running away. The one redeeming quality you have is that is to get out of fights, and you you still fuck it up. You understand you're getting hard carried this game, right? Like your team is popping. Your team is literally popping. <sighs> please, 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 let's let this be good.
You had one job. They beat it. Inside. Because their Lucio probably thought, there's no way this, this, this dude's so stupid he threw it on the roof. Even defense, you can't even. You don't even defense Matrix. You're Sigma, who's clearly in trouble. You're selfish, you're scared. You played like a beach, uh, dude. I hate it. I hate it. I'm actually so upset. I'm actually so triggered at this point. You know what's crazy to me? This person is a thousand SR higher than the last VOD we watched. The, the Ana Bap on King's Row that actually like play, played pretty well. This is someone that's higher SR. <laughs> So Hanzo on your right, you gonna help out with that or not? No? Okay. I'm so confused by this whole, like, run up to the Rhine shield and stop. So Hanzo on the left, you wanna go deal with that? Yeah, go get him. No? Oh, your Torb got him. No, no, no. Hey, hello is like... Is there anybody home? Anyone at all? You have flight off cooldown. You can literally fucking fly. Never mind, you could just take take about three steps to the right and be fine. You don't understand what you're doing wrong, and you sent me this game? Are you gonna lose this? You literally single handedly lost your team this game. I'm not even joking. I'm not even being, I'm not even trying to overreact. I'm genuinely fing serious. You single handedly lost your team this game. How? I want you to write a, a, a I want a crying, full tears, fing snot apology video for every single person on this team. That is genuinely one of the worst tank players I've ever witnessed. <laughs>